Then one day we were down at the Indian River Inlet fishing. We didn't have the boat that day, but my uh, sister and her husband were down with us and we were camping at Indian River Inlet. And we were camping all weekend. He had vacation that next week, but they went home Sunday evening early or the afternoon and my wife didn't want to go home yet, so uh, we went on the other side of the inlet and I parked off of the road into the sand, which a lot of people do, that fish there along a wall. Good flounder fishing there. We went down, we were catching flounder and putting them in the, the uh, cooler with all the ice in there. We were having a good time. And my wife said, I'm hungry, I need a... How about going up and getting a sandwich? I said, yeah, I'd like to know what time it is. I didn't have my watch on. So I went up, Now I was on a curve there. But I was off of the road, way into the sand. I opened the trunk up, got the sandwich out, and I wanted to go around the car, and look to see what time it was. I closed the trunk, and I turned around. When I did, there was a car heading right for me. I could see he was going too fast to make the curve, and his wheel was turning up the sand like a plow. I knew I wasn't going to make it. So I quickly ran, for some reason, out in the middle of the road. Why would anybody run out in the middle of the road? I don't know. But he hit the back end of my car, shoved it to the left, uh, no, it went off to the right into the sand. He glanced off of that to the left on the other side of the road. I was running between the two as they were going out like this. It smashed that clean up to the back window of my car. I mean, I was shook. I was really shook. And they called the state police. They came over. The guy was sitting in his car with blood running down his face. He wasn't knocked out, but he had, he was injured. And the cop turned over and looked at his face like this when he did. He grabbed a hold of his shirt and yanked him out of the car. He said, you're going with me. Oh, why did he do that? And one of the guys that came up the road uh, stopped and saw it was an accident there and stuff and people weren't passing through. He said, if you want to know something about that guy, go back and talk to a certain uh, guy that took people out, took us out fishing. We had to come back early because this guy just got drunk and was causing trouble. So he was really drunk. And so there we were, no way to go home. I called my sister and my brother and my brother-in-law that said, I hate to ask you. They had just gotten home from down there. Did you come down and get us? Because I knew he had vacation coming the next day. And so we hitched a ride to the tow truck up to Rehoboth, sat there in Rehoboth until they come down to get us. And so why did I turn around at the time I did? Why did I run into the middle of the road? instead of off to the side. One guy saw it happen, he saw me running, he said, I could not figure out why you were running out in the middle of the road. He said, I soon found out. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know, they say we have protective angels around us, and I'll tell you what, I kept mine busy. <laughs> Oh,